What's going on, brother? His his thing is he wants to prove in the first five books where this is, but the brother don't got no fridge. Wait, what? But well, you know you're an Israelite, brother. Hundred percent believe. Hundred percent. Do you, have you ever read? Have you read the Bible before? Every time. Every time. Now, how do you get to understand? Would you say you have the understanding of the Bible? Yeah, I have understanding of the Bible. How do you get? How do you get the understanding of the Bible? You say you got to pray. Give me Sirach chapter twenty-one and eleven, and give me Psalms chapter one eleven, and give me verse ten. We're gonna see how you get the understanding of the Bible. The book of Psalms, chapter one eleven, and verse number ten. You know. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. What guy say? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know what? And a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Hey, what? Do it, do his commandments. So the only way you're gonna get a good understanding of the Bible is if you're keeping God's commandments. Right. Now, are you keeping the commandments of God right now? Yeah. You are you sure? Yeah. Uh -huh. Give me Numbers chapter 15 or 38. Are you positive? 100%. On a on a on a scale of one to ten, how positive are you that you keeping the commandments right now? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Bring this up. The book of Numbers chapter fifteen and verse thirty-eight. Bring it out. Speaking to the children of Israel. Do what? Speaking, speaking to, to the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. And you know you are Israelite, right? right? What tribe are you from? I don't know. You don't know, but you know you are Israelite. Yeah. Read on. And bid them that they make them fringes. That they do what? That they make them fringes. I do a uh, no show. That they, they make, make them fringes. Free ball. That they make they them fringes. Do you know what fringes are? What are fringes? He said what? I said what are fringes? You got on, but it was on the cross. You said fringes were nailed on the cross? Yeah. What Bible verse says fringes was nailed on the cross? Alright, you gotta pull it up. Give, give me first Thessalonians 521. No, I'm saying you got what 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 Bible I'm saying what Bible verse says wearing fringes is done away with. Give me first Thessalonians. I just gave you the word. The book of first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Yeah. Prove all things. What God say? Prove, Prove all things. things. What the Lord say? Prove, Prove all things. So all I'm asking for, King, is pull up a Bible verse that says fringes was nailed to the cross. Yeah. Pull it up. I just give you this reading. Hebrew 9 and what? Hebrews 9 and what? What verse? Well, we just gonna tell you it's not in there. That's why. It's not in there. It's not in there. Did you know are you a are you a father of Christ? Are you a father of Christ? Are you a father? Do you follow? Do you do what Christ, or you try the best you can to do what Christ did? Do you believe that? You try the best your ability to do what Christ did and follow in his footsteps? Give me Matthew chapter 14 and 36. Did Christ wear fringes? My point is, did Christ wear fringes? Yes, can you answer my question first? I'm going to answer your question. Christ animal sacrifice? <laughs> well, hold on, Dick. Can, can, oh, 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 no, can you no, answer my? I'm gonna no, answer I'm your question. question. I'm gonna answer your question. Yes, he did. Did, did Christ wear fringes? He did. He so did why? So why are you not wearing fringes? Hold on. Don't I answer my question. Now. Hold on. So why are you not? All right. I already answered your question. Before I answer that, brother. Nah, nah. We not gonna go with this. What's your question? What's your question? Did Christ do animal sacrifice? Did Christ do an animal sacrifice? Yes. Give me Matthew chapter eight and give me verse four. Let's see, because you don't know what's going on, brother. No, no, no. I asked you a question. We gonna answer out of the. We gonna answer it out of the Bible. Of Matthew chapter eight and verse four. No. And Yahweh said, said unto him, See thou tell no man. Start at verse three. Verse three. And Yahweh said, Put forth his hands and touch him. And what? And touch him. And he he's killing. He's cleansing this man of his leprosy. Read on. Saying, I will be thou clean. Right. And immediately. His leprosy was cleansed. His what? His leprosy was clear. You know what? And Jesus said unto him, See that sorry. See thou tell no man, but go thy way, shoot thyself to thy priest, right. and offer the gift 
that Moses commanded. And do what? And offered the gift that Moses commanded. Christ don't know what's going on. And offered the gift that Moses commanded. Christ wasn't dealing with animal sacrifice. And offered the gift that Moses commanded. What is the gift that Moses commanded? Hold on, let me answer your question. What is the gift that Moses commanded to offer up at the... Your question, what was my question? Your question is, did Christ do audible sacrifice? Did he? I'm just asking. And we're reading out of the Bible where Christ is telling a man... Right, to go do it. So that means he's for it. Yes or no? Don't ask me. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on, brother. I know what is going on. Give me... Christ did what? He did the animal sacrifice. So why, why would you just ask I'm me that he do it? We just read it out of the Bible hold that on, Christ told us. When he died, hold on, hold on. Can, we, can I finish this? I'm going to let you get brother, the floor. Brother, we just, died, a, brother, we just answer your question. Hold on, hold on. Brother, can I finish? When he died. Brother, can I finish? Hold on. When he died. Give me one of the apostles that did the animal sacrifice. Give me Acts chapter 21 and give me verse 20. I'm talking about the one that believed in Christ. Give me Acts. Give me Acts, and we're going to show you. Give me Acts chapter 21 and give me verse 20. All right, it's the book of Acts. If you didn't answer the question. the book of Acts chapter 21 and verse 20. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe. And they are all zealous of the law. And they are what? And they are all zealous of the law. So when you read Acts the 21st chapter, what is this chapter going into? No. It's going into Paul coming before James when you read this chapter. You said the beginning of Acts, right? No, Acts chapter 21. Acts chapter 21. Okay, I told you about Acts. Alright, you don't know, brother. Read one. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses. James is telling Paul that, hold on, Paul. We're hearing that you're teaching against the law of Moses. Read one. Same. That they are not to circumcise their children, right. neither to walk after their customs. Right. What is it they're, they're for? The multitude must needs come together, but right. they will hear. Can you hold on? And we gonna finish it. We don't. It's not done yet. We don't. For they will hear that thou art come. Do therefore this that ye like. Do therefore this that ye say to thee. We have four men. Which have been bowed to them. Yeah, what? We are four men which have been bowed to them. Give me Numbers chapter 6 and give me verse 12. Read on. Then take and purify thyself with them and be at charges with them. So, uh, James, do you know who the uh, James is? The Apostle James? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so James is telling Paul to do this vow. Because you have four men that had a Nazarite vow on them. And when you read Acts chapter 18 and 18, Paul had a Nazarite vow on them. Now, I'm not finished yet. Read one. I'm not finished yet. I got you. I'm not finished. That they may shave their heads and all may know that those things. I'm going to answer your question. You said, show me in the New Testament after Christ where they did an animal sacrifice. We're showing you. Well, four, they were informed concerning thee or nothing. But that thou thyself also walkest orderly and keepeth the law, right. as touching the gent as touching the Gentiles, which believe we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols, and from blood, and from strangle, and from fornication. Then Paul took the men. What? Then Paul took the men. Then what? Then Paul took the men. Then Paul the apostle took the men, read. And the next day, purifying himself with them, entered into the temple to signify the accomplishment of the days of purification until that an offering shall be offered from every one of them. A what? An offering shall be offered for every one of them. No animal sacrifice was done away with. An offering shall be offered for every one of them. So in the New Testament, Paul the Apostle is doing an animal sacrifice because it's written in Numbers the 6th chapter, if you, have, if you have a Nazarite vow on you, after your days is accomplished, you have to offer up a sacrifice. No, can you answer that? We just answer your question. What do you mean? You don't know what's going on. That's it. You don't. We just answer your question. Read it again. You got 
Acts 21 and 26. Then Paul took the man, and the next day, purifying himself with them, entered into the temple. Said, oh, wait, hold on. You said it did not say Adam was saying, offering. What's that? What? What do you? What do you do? I can give. I can give money to God. That is not sock. That's not. Animal. What offering do you have to offer after a Nazarite vow? A peace offering. So what is a peace offering consist a peace of? Offering. You can buy something. You can bring your fruits. No. Give you me Leviticus chapter three and one. On. Let's see. Let's see in the Bible. Let's see. Let's see about the peace offering. Give me Leviticus chapter three and one. Look at Leviticus chapter three and verse one. Bring it up. A peace offering consists of fruit. Let's see what the Bible says. A lot. And if it's oblation, be a sacrifice of peace offering. All right, if it's what? If it's oblation, be a sacrifice of peace offering. What God say? If it's oblation, be a sacrifice of peace offering. Let's say if a man offers up a peace offering. Read on. If he offer it of the herd. If he what? If he offer it of the herd. Or fruit. If he offer it of the herd. A damn fruit cup. If he offer it of the herd. A damn uh, lemon head. If he offer it of the herd. What is the herd? What is the herd? <laughs> we know it don't make sense because you don't know what's going on. You know what? Whether it be a male or female, and he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. And that herd is of the flock. You don't know what's going on. Now, hold on. Let's answer this man's question. Read Hebrews what? Hebrews 10 and what? Yeah, you said Paul and do an animal sacrifice, right? Yes. We just read it. Re Hebrews what? Hebrews what? Where's, uh, no, wait. Do you have? Where's the Bible? Do we have an extra Bible up here? I got a Bible. Got All right, pull it. You can pull it up on your phone because we don't know what you. You just saying read this, but you don't have a verse. I just gave you the verse. All right, can you read it? Can you read it? Can you read it to make your point? You got. You got a mic. You read. All right, do you want the mic? No, I don't want it. You read. I'm read. I'm gonna ask you. A read Hebrews what? Read, read. Bro, I keep telling you, bro. You keep at Hebrews what? Hebrews 10 and what? Hebrews 1. Uh, Hebrews 10 verse 1. Read that. Re let's read it. Hebrews chapter 10 and 1. This is the, this is the book of Hebrews uh -huh. chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it out! For the law having a shadow of good things to come uh -huh. and not the very image of things can never with those sacrifices which they offered yeah, year by year uh -huh. continually make the come on, oh, commerce there unto perfect. Commerce to perfect. Right. right. Keep reading. What's your, what's your point? Keep reading. You're going to talk about animal sacrifice. I, I'm saying, what's your point? It's going to talk about animal sacrifice. Keep reading. Hold on. So, is your point is animal sacrifice is done away with? Away, yes. Animal sacrifice forever. I didn't say forever. I said animal sacrifice is done away with. What do you mean by animal sacrifice is when done away died, with? He nailed the animal sacrifice on the cross. So, That's what I'm so in the kingdom of heaven, will we be doing animal sacrifices? Kingdom of heaven, no. Give me, give me Ezekiel chapter 44 and give me verse 10. Give me the book of Zechariah chapter 14 and 20. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 66 and give me verse 20. And give me Ezekiel chapter 43 and 18. We gotta stop you where you at, cause you, cause you said it won't be, it won't be animal sacrifice in the kingdom. Now what you meant to say was animal sacrifice for sins is done away with for the children of Israel when Christ died on the cross. Sacrifice. What I'm trying to say is, animal sacrifice is going to be instituted when Christ comes back on earth. You just said it won't be in the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven is what are you talking? It's going to come down on earth. Right. So when we be doing doing animal sacrifices, Christ come on earth. can I speak? Hold on. Hold on. You will we be? Let me finish. Will, I'm saying, will we be doing animal oh. sacrifice in the kingdom of heaven? Kingdom of heaven is going to come in Jerusalem. It's going to have twelve gates. Right. Right. And we have Christ kingdom. Right. Christ kingdom is going to be on earth. Will there be will there, will there be animal sacrifice in there? Okay, go, uh, no, you got it. You want to let me talk, brother? Go ahead. How did you talk? Oh, All right, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Let me do this in order. Everything be in order. Right. Let me finish, and then you you can go from from there. You got this. Animal sacrifice is going to issue you back with Christ on earth, and when he come back on earth, it's going to rule for a thousand years. And that's what nobody's going to die no more. That's what he's going to offer everything to God, and God's going to come down on earth. The heaven is not going to be no more. That's what I'm telling you. It's not going to be no God. So if that's not going to be a dead, how would that be an animal sacrifice? So that's my question. We're going to show you animal sacrifice. Can I answer your question? Your, your, your question was if Christ, if there's going to be no more death, how is there going to be animal sacrifice in the kingdom? We're going to show you. That in the kingdom of heaven, 
hold that and give me Isaiah 14 and 1. You have going to have the other nations in the kingdom of heaven with us. So we're not going to go off for sin. The Israelites are going to be without sin. But you will have the other nations going off and they will have to make sacrifices to the priests and the priests will have to atone for their sins. Because they're going to be in a corruptible body while the Israelites, their body is going to be changed into an incorruptible body. Now let's show you. The other nation, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause a minute. You said, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's, that's not going to last. And his, you said, Israel's body is going to turn into a flesh, whatever, because they're going to be having pain and all that. Read that too. Give me Philippians chapter 3 and 20. Where does it say Israel? It only say Israel. Read that too. Philippians 3 and 20. Give me the book of Philippians chapter 3 and 20. Can you, I got a quick question. Can you die? with an incorruptible body? You said Israel. I'm asking hold you a on. question. Hold on. I'm getting to the point. The Brother, can you answer my question? It's, it's not only Israel. It's not only Israel. Hold so you saying that uh, the heathen? So are you saying the heathen will have an incorruptible body in the kingdom of heaven? People that make it, that keep the commandment just like us, they gonna make it to the kingdom. I believe that. So the, can heathens make it to the kingdom? Hundred percent. What Bible verse says that? Isaiah 56 chapter. Go to it. Go to it. Verse 1. Pull it up. Let's deal with Isaiah chapter 56. Yeah, Give me Isaiah it. chapter 56. Boy, you're about to whoop you. So bad. I think I should whoop Isaiah chapter 56 and 1. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thus said the Lord, uh -huh. keep ye judgment uh -huh. and do justice, right. for my salvation yeah. is near to come right. and my righteousness to be revealed. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. Verse 2. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that doeth this, that do it, that doeth this, and the son of man that land hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it. That what? That keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it. What God said? That keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it. Who is the Sabbath they given to? Was the Sabbath they given to all nations? Give me Exodus chapter 31 and 13. You don't know. No, we have to break Isaiah down, Isaiah's the 56th chapter, in its proper context. We can't just take one verse and say, oh, snap, oh, uh, the eunuchs are going to come over. Every, everything is, oh, 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 heathens can make it. We're not doing that. Give me Exodus 31 and 13. This is Exodus chapter 31 and 13. Speak down unto the, unto the children of Israel. Do what? Speak down unto the children of Israel. Say, fairly. My Sabbath ye shall keep. What God say? Say, verily, my Sabbath ye shall keep. Not a heathen could keep. Say, verily, my Sabbath ye shall keep. Hold on, hold on, the the Sabbath day was only given to the children of Israel. That's right. You better ask that question. Now let's go back to Isaiah 56. Yeah, keep reading. He's going to tell you about the strangers that do the same thing. Verse, uh, keep reading. It shall, and keep, keep his hand from do, doing any evil, uh -huh. neither uh -huh. let the... Son of the stranger. The what? The son of the stranger. The what? The son of the stranger. Now before we keep reading, who is the stranger? It's the only Israel can keep the Sabbath. Now read that. Keep reading. Now who is the son of the stranger? Don't ask me questions. Let's keep reading. Let's finish the verse. The son of the stranger that had joined himself to the Lord speaking, speak, saying, the Lord have utterly separated me from his people, okay. need to let the eunuch say, Behold, okay. I am a dry tree. Whoa, now, hold on, hold who is the son of the stranger in this hold context? On. Okay, what does he say? He said, Let not the stranger that says, I'm separated from Israel. Right. That's what he said, right? So that means the stranger can keep the Sabbath day and have the same salvation as us. Now, let me ask you this Reverse question. One again. Brother, one. real fast, hold before you go on the round. Hold on. Can hold it, on. Can uh, it, uh, uh, brother, can you come? Okay. Do you have some temperance? Can an Israelite be a can an Israelite be a stranger? Yes or no? Can an Israelite that's that's sojourning in a strange land and he comes back to the land of Israel? Can an Israelite be a stranger? That's not what he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. Can you answer the question? Don't twist that scripture right now. Can they, brother? Can you listen? Can an Israelite be a stranger? Give me Leviticus chapter twenty-five and thirty-five. Give me Sirach chapter 45 and 18. Give me a book of Numbers so chapter 16 and verse 1. And give me the first so book of first Ezra chapter 5 and 5. We just gotta now we gotta cut you up because you don't know what's going on. What do you think? Leviticus chapter 25 
Post already fine. And if thy brother be waxing poor. And if what? And if thy brother be waxing poor. What God say? And if thy brother be waxing poor. Let's say once I, let's say one man amongst the children of Israel be waxing poor, we want. And fall and decay with thee. Then thou shalt relieve him. Yeah. Though he be a stranger. Though he what? Though he be a stranger. Now the heathens are the only stranger. Though he be a stranger. So when we read, why is when we read Leviticus 25 and 35, an Israelite is referred to as a stranger? You don't know what's going on. Give me Sirach chapter 45 and 18. You said you're not going to talk to me. Give me Sirach chapter 45 and 18. Sirach chapter 45. 45. You cannot can just sit with Sirach chapter 45 and 18. 45 and verse 18. Stranger, strangers conspired together against him. It says what? Strangers conspired together against him. What the Lord said? Strangers conspired together against him. Who conspired against Moses in the wilderness? Give me Numbers chapter 16 and verse 1. Chapter 16 and verse 1. Bring it out. Now Korah, the son of Izar. says what? Now Korah, the son of Izar. You know who Korah is? No. He's an Israelite. Read on. The son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Danith, and Abram, the son of Elab, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. It says what? The sons of Reuben took men. So these are Israelites from the tribe of Reuben. Read on. And they rose up before Moses. And they did what? And they rose up before Moses. Read it again. And they rose up before Moses. So those strangers that conspired against Moses in the wilderness were Israelites, man. That's right. But that's just showing you that that stranger in Isaiah the 56 chapter, that's not talking about literal heathen. Israelites became strangers for one, if you were from a strange country or you, if let's say you're from the land of uh, Manasseh and you came all the way to the land of Benjamin, you would be considered a stranger. But you don't know that. An uh, Israelite could become a stranger if he has fallen and waxed and poured. But you don't have to understand it. You don't know what's going on. You can't answer the questions. We ask you the questions. Then we answer your questions that you don't have no answers. I got preset. Thou shalt not lie. Have we answered this man's question? No. So we didn't answer your question about Paul offering up a, 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 a sacrifice. So now he's up here lying, man. First of all, you did not finish. Give me, on, give me first Edges 5 and 5. Hold on. You, you what do you have to say? I had to say a lot. What? Like what? You said strangers, right? Listen. Like he says, he says, let's go back to the verse. I said, the sixth chapter. I'm going to let you, you go on back. I'll let you prove your own point. Let me prove my own point. You not Let me go back to Isaiah the 56 chapter. It says strangers. Now he's going to give you all the strangers that he's talking about. I got, I got he said, it's a, if it's not Israel. It's a legend. Do it. Hold on. Do we, do we say it's not of Israel in here? No, it don't say that. So you add into the words of God. I, I, I Read it. Say, listen, this is book of Isaiah, listen, chapter listen, 56 and verse say. 1. Read it out. Thus saith, verse 3. Help. Neither let the son of the stranger that has joined himself to the Lord right. speak. You yourself, so, you let the Bible speak? No, no, no. Are we, are we, are we, it's either let the Bible speak or we're going to cut you up. Which one? I gave you, listen. Let the Bible speak or cut you up. Which one? Let the Bible speak. Or cut you up. We not gonna have this conversation. This your last time, brother. Because this your last time too. Let the, are we gonna let the Bible speak no. and, and you not talk over the Bible? The wicked flee. Give me Proverbs chapter twenty-eight and one. I got precept. Proverbs chapter twenty-eight and verse one. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. Yeah. The wicked flee. What God say? The wicked flee. What the Lord say? The wicked flee. Read it again. The wicked flee. What did that man do? The wicked flee. The wicked flee, man. Read on. The wicked flee. Read on. 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 Are bold as a lion. And we standing up here bold as a lion, yeah, casting down yeah. false doctrine, man. Yeah. Casting down that other nations could be saved. Right. And he is yet to pull, pull up proof. He's talking about Hebrews the 10th chapter. Well, Hebrews the 10th chapter got verses in it. You can't just say a chapter and say read the whole thing. He don't understand who the strangers are. We showed him uh, 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 in the New Testament. He don't have his friends, his fringes at. He's seeing an Israelite. Where's his fringes at? So he don't know what's going on, man. You had a precept?
Isaiah chapter 21 and verse 15. No. For they fled from the swords. For they what? For they fled from the sword. Yeah, he, he couldn't handle it. We're trying to read the Bible. He's just talking over it. So they fled from the sword. Read on. And it says, from the drawn sword and from the bent bow and from the grievousness of war. See that? And I was trying not to do it, but he asked for it, man. Now we have to cut up Jake. We got to get on the heathen. Every, this is madness, man. Right, right. You got Moab being a homo. You got Edomites yelling. This is complete madness. That's right. Give me First Ezra chapter five and five. Give me Isaiah chapter sixty-two and give me verse eleven. It's the book of First Ezra chapter five, verse number five. No. no. The priest, the son of Phineas, the son of Aaron, Jesus, the son of jo Joseph. Joseph. The son of Sarus, right, and Joachim, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Salathel, the, the house of David, out of the kindred of the of the farce of the tribes of Judah. Of the what? Of the tribes of Judah. So when you read First Ezra the fifth chapter, is listen to genealogy of the men of the tribes of Judah. Now read on. Who spake wise sentences before Darius, the king of Persia, in the second year of his reign? Right. And the month Nisan, which is the first month. And these are they of the Jewry that came up from the captivity, where they dwell as strangers. Where they what? Where, where they, they dwell as strangers. What was Zerubbabel? Where, where they dwell as strangers. What was Ezra? Where they dwell as strangers. What was Joshua? Where they dwell as strangers. Where they dwell as strangers. And we know where he was going. Right. We know he was going to Isaiah the 56th chapter and try to pull out that nasty eunuch and the nasty stranger, and, I, and he was gonna go to all nations coming before the Lord, but he don't even know what that's talking about, man. Every all, na this is madness, man. The strangers are the children of Israel that have became strangers due to discerning in a uh, strange land or being waxing poor by their brethren. That's right. But he don't know the Bible though, the other nations. Salvation, why would the Lord save the so-called white man? Just why? Right. After all the slavery, the rape, mob, rob, and murder they have, they have done in the atrocities, they polluted the earth, their animals are going extinct. Why in the hell would the Lord come back and save them? They don't need to be saved, man. It's only one nation of people on this earth that need to be saved from their enemies. And that's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And if you try to come up here with no Bible in his hand, trying to, hey sister, you know who you are according to the Bible? What's your nationality, sister? You will be an Israelite, you gotta repent and keep God's commandments. That's right. This man came up with, with, with no Bible, with no fringes on. Then we say where your fringes at, but the Lord nailed that to the cross. Where's that in the Bible? The Lord nailed that to the cross. When the give me Matthew chapter 14 and 36. The Lord was wearing fringes. But he don't have no understanding. Matthew 14 and 36. Chapter 14 and verse 36. And besought him that they might only touch them him of his garment. The what? The hem of his garment. The what? The hem of his garment. The what? The hem of his garment. The hem of his garment. When you go into that word hem in the Greek in the blue letter, it says a fringe. So Yahweh Shah wore fringes, man. Yahweh Shah wasn't walking around here with no fringes on. You got certain men, they just walk in with no fringes on and say I'm an Israelite. No, the Lord, he wore fringes, man. Read one. As many as touched were made perfectly whole. And if you touch the Lord's fringes, you will be made whole. Right. That should show you that the Lord was on a high spiritual level. And hey, y'all brothers know your nationality? Brothers. Come on, brother. The Hispanics. Yeah. Give me First Peter chapter 215, man. First Peter chapter 2 and 15. The book of First Peter chapter 2 verse 15. For whoso is the will of God, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. You may what? Put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. What the Lord just do? Put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. And our job is to come out here and put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, man. That's right. Men that's bringing false doctrine in. Men that's saying all nations could be saved. Men that's saying we're not going to be doing animal sacrifice in the kingdom. We have to put the silence the ignorance of foolish men with the word of God, man. We can't do it by ourselves, man. 
I can't come out here and put the silence, the ignorance of foolish men with my own words. Right. We do that by using the Bible, the spiritual weapon of the Most High, also known as the sword of the Spirit, man. That's right. But these people, they can't handle the truth, man. As soon as we bring up, we trying to deal with the brother, and he just talking over the precepts. We, hey, that's not happening up here, man. You could try, you could talk about the uh, talk over the precepts at your uh, damn church you go to, the damn heathen church where you got Edomites in your congregation. But up here, you're not talking over against the words of life, man. Right. Or we gonna shut all of that down. And you so-called white people, you gotta get ready for slavery, man. That's right. You hear that white woman in the green shirt? Get ready for captivity, man. Right. Get ready for a hard servitude bondage. Brother, you know your nationality? And you gotta separate from the white woman, brother. You have to get out and separate from the so-called oppressor, man. From your enemy, your slave master. You got coons out here, man. Give me up um, second Maccabees 4 and 2, man. You have coon activity going on in the land of the living. Second Maccabees chapter 4 verse 2. Thus was he bold to call him a traitor. What the Lord said? Thus was he bold to call him a traitor. What is Israel? Israel marriages? Thus was he bold to call him a traitor. If you're with the heathen in 2022, you're a traitor, man. You're a traitor to your own people, man. You have literally sat down and said, you know what? Instead of cleaving to my own people, I love the so-called white man. I can never stop serving my master. You got E saying I can never not be with my master. Read that again. This was he bold to call him a traitor. What guy say? This was he bold to call him a traitor. What are all coons? This was he bold to call him a traitor. What is Reverend Jesse Jackson? This was he bold to call him a traitor. This was he bold to call him a traitor, man. And you got a lot of traitors amongst the city of Chicago. But it's, what's your nationality? But it's our job to have those people come out from amongst that and turn them back to the Lord. Do y'all know your nationality? Sister. Brother. And our people are destroyed, man, just waving their hand. God is not getting down with just waving your hand, man. Give me Isaiah chapter uh, 55 and verse 6. And give me 2 Chronicles 13 to 15. Right? Isaiah chapter 55 and 6 and 2 Chronicles chapter 13 and 15. Isaiah Chapter 55 and verse 6. Bring it out. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. What God say? Seek, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Now, Terry. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Have fun in America. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Now, do wickedness 20 years of your life, and when you go old and be 40 and 60 years old, then you can seek the Lord. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So the Lord said, You need to seek him right now while he may be found, man. Why? Because you're coming into the days. Well, the Most High, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, Yahweh, by saying Yahweh Shah is not going to be found, man. The Lord is not going to draw near unto man in the days that's coming. That's why you have to stop what you're doing right now, and you have to take, you have to make the, uh, an investment. You have to invest the little time you have, whether that's 5, 20, an hour, two hours of your time, and put it into the Lord so you can reap a hundredfold, man. That's right. But our people, not, they're not thinking about that. The average so-called black man, he's not thinking about how to make an investment. He's not thinking about how to invest time in and see what outcome he could get. So the Lord says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Read one. Call ye upon him while he is yet near. What God say? Call ye upon him while he is yet near. No, Terry. Call ye upon him while he is yet near. And you got to call upon the Lord while he is near. Why? Because the Lord is going to be far away from man, especially man that's in wickedness and sin. The Lord not going to be right there unless you're the elect. If you're not the elect, the Lord, hey, the Lord is on his own time, man. You got to be on the Lord's time, man. Right. You got to do the things you got to do to seek the Lord. So you have to call upon him while he is near. Read on. Let the wicked forsake his way. What God say? Let, Let the, the wicked, wicked forsake his way. Don't continue in iniquity. Let, Let the wicked forsake his way. way. Do y'all want to forsake y'all wicked ways, family? Brother, brother, do you want to forsake your wicked ways? What about you, sister? Do y'all want to forsake your wicked ways or keep being wicked? Or keep being thoughts? Or keep being harlots? Or keep being thugs? Or keep being game makers? Do y'all want to forsake your wicked You want to forsake your wicked way, brother? You said what? No, we're not changing nothing up here, man. We read it as it is written. Read this. 
Read that again. Let the wicked forsake his way. No, I say it differently. Let, Let the, the wicked, wicked forsake, forsake his way. way. Say that in a smooth way. Let, Let the, the wicked, wicked forsake, forsake his way. way. And we tell you straight up and down, if you're a wicked man, you have to forsake your wicked ways, man. That's right. We're not telling you what, hold on, you can still do some of your wickedness. Only thing you have to do is be lukewarm. We're not telling you that, man. We tell you to stop what you're doing right now, forsake your wicked ways, or when the Lord returns, you're going to get put to death, man. Right. We're not saying it no other way, man. Right. We're not adding $2 to it. We're not giving you a John 3.16 packet. We're not giving you no Harold's chicken with it. We tell you that's at the Lord, man. Right. Read on. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And let him do what? And let, let him return, return unto the Lord. Lord. What do we want our people to do? And let, let him return unto the Lord. Now we want him to stay in wickedness. And let, let him return unto the Lord. Lord. What do the black man gotta do? And let, let him return unto the Lord. Lord. What do the so-called Hispanic man gotta do? And let him return unto the Lord. What do the so-called Native American Indian gotta do? Let him return unto the Lord. Do y'all know your nationality, sisters? That's walking. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? He said what? Ethiopian. Well, you're not going to make it, man. All Ethiopians is going to get cut down in the land of the living. That's right. So you have to turn to the Lord. We don't want to read that part again. And the unrighteous man's thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And let him come back to your maker, man. Now it's time for the black, Hispanic, and Native American to come back to their heritage, man. Right. To come back to their God. Right. To come back to who they are. Right. To come back to their language. Right. To come back to their people, man. We don't want and he will have mercy upon him. And he will what? And he will have mercy upon him. Now the Lord is always angry. And he will have mercy upon him. Then the Lord will have mercy, man. That's right. We're not just coming out here acting like the Most High is just a man with a sword in his hand. He will have mercy on his people. Y'all hear that, family? Do y'all know y'all God given nationality? Then he will have mercy on his people. And guess who, are, are, are you ready to dialogue this time, brother? No, you ready to dialogue. You want a round two? I said, you ready to dialogue? Absolutely. All right. So you're not going to jump. I'm, you going to bring your scriptures? I'm going to bring my scriptures. Don't interrupt me. I ain't going to interrupt you. All right, brother. Right or wrong? All right, brother. We on? We on? Yes or no? All right, brother. No, I can walk away. All right, brother. Let's go. Are we on? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Go ahead. Bring your point. Bring out bring my point? Yeah, you go first. All right. I have a question for you. I have an answer for In the kingdom of who, who is salvation for? Salvation for? Yes. Every sons of God. Keep the commandments of God. Every sons of God. Every sons of every son of man that keep Sabbath, they keep all the commandments of God. It, it'd be Gentile, it'd be Greek, it'd be white, black, all of that. Can they hear? Okay, 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 go ahead. I thought you were finished, go ahead. Alright, listen, you said, this is the question that you asked me, right? Who, who is salvation for? And I say, anybody that keeps the commandments of God. Right. Any sons of uh, any sons of men, include anybody, race or gender, anybody. Okay. Prove me wrong. Give me Revelation chapter 21 and 12. How many gates are there to the kingdom of heaven? Do you know? Yes. How many gates are there to the kingdom of heaven? Twelve. For who? Yeah. For anybody that keeps the commandments of God. Look Revelation you. 21 and 12. It's the book of Revelation. Say what? I won't finish you. Oh, my bad. What you say? Even Israel, that did not keep the commandments of God, did not go into the kingdom. Okay, so getting this correct, you said the 12 gates are for anybody that keeps the commandments of God, right? Yeah. If Israel did not keep it, they cannot enter into the kingdom. Okay, okay. So one of those heathens could uh, go through those gates if they keep in the commandments of God? I just answered your question, bro. Okay, read this. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates. And did what? And had 12 gates. No, it had one gate. And had 12 gates. It had 12 gates, like you said. Read on. And at the gates, 12 angels. Right. And the names written they're on. Now on the names of these gates, uh -huh. read one. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of Which are the what? Which are the names of the twelve tribes read. of the children of Israel? Of everybody. Of, of the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. What God say? Of the children of Israel. What the Lord say? Of the children of Israel. Read. On the east 
on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. So the Lord, so in the, when we read Revelation 21 and 12, it says, real fast, real fast, let me finish this, I got you. When, when we read in this, it said these 12 gates are only for the children of Israel. Right. So how can the heathen, so you, you said it's only for Israel? Yes, it just said that. Read, the, read it again. Read that only for Israel. And had a wall great and high, uh -huh. and had right? twelve gates, uh -huh. and at the great gates twelve angels, uh -huh. and the names run their own. And the name that was written on it. Okay. Read yeah. one. Yeah. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel? Try to what? Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel? No, the Edomite's name is on there. The no. names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. So this oh, gate, no, no. these twelve gates, are only for the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. Hold on, Yo, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on brother. Hold on. Real fast. If my name is on something, that belongs to me and me only, right? If I have, let's say if I go to a, res a reservation in the Sweetwater and my name is on there, Jalen, is that reservation for you? Let's, let's slow it down for him. He might not hold understand it. You know got that Zoro, that Z. <laughs> Do you answer the question? No, nah, no. Nah. Do you know the question that you asked is irrelevant? No, I'm making an analogy. But listen, it's just like this, right? Like the, uh, you talk about, the, like you see the lights over there. Am I the only one that's supposed to obey that rule or everybody's supposed to obey that rule? That, that you can't use that analogy because that's what you do. Because the that's name is on it. Because listen, it's listen. the name is on it. That's Hold the on. point, brother. Let me answer your question now. The question is, everybody got to come through Israel to get salvation. Salvation is up for Israel. It's for, it's for what? It's off, off Israel. No, it's for Israel. You said, oh, you changing it up, brother. I did not change it up. Go back and read what Jesus said. Salvation is off Israel. And you got to come to Israel to not get salvation. Is did that he the say, did hold he on, say, hold on, hold on. real fast, I'm not trying to clarify. I'm, I'm, did he say it's of Israel or it's for Israel? It's salvation. It's salvation is off Israel. Give me John 4 and 22. I don't think he said that. John chapter 4 and 22. Look at John. Chapter 4 and verse 22. Yeah. Ye worship, ye know not. Uh -huh. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Oh. It says what? Oh. For salvation oh. is oh. of the Jews. What does oh. it mean by salvation oh. is of the Jews? Oh, you said, you said four. You said four. So and salvation said, is not for the Jews? I did not say that. I said it's of. Oh. I'm oh. saying what is oh. of oh. and for me. That's what I'm saying. Brother, hold on. Slow down. Well, go ahead. Just ask me a question. Oh. And four is two different words, brother. What is the difference? There's much difference. This is for me, and this is off me. That means it's it gotta go, it gotta be out of me for you to have it. What Bible verse says that? All Israel is the priest. What Bible verse hold says on, that? All, all Israel is the priest. What Bible right verse here. says that? Right here. Oh, oh, verse. Oh, oh. We need a verse. You just read the verse. Give me First Peter chapter four and eleven. Read the verse. You just read See, the that's verse. the thing, brother. Oh, you said. Oh, we can't right. come out here and deal with you because we have verses, but you don't have any verses. Right. Where's right. your Bible at? Right. Hold on. Where's your Bible at? Brother, read. read. What was First the Peter chapter four verse eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. What God say? If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Let him be lacking. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Where your sword at? You lacking? Where it is? Pull it up. You need the verse. I just say, brother. It's the Bible right there. You saying no to the Bible? I'm not saying no to the Bible. Let me make my, hold on, brother. Let him make his stance. You say, you see, let's, let's have a dialogue, right? right? And I say, you go, and I'll go. Right, go so ahead. you give me a dialogue. Why would I prove my own point when you, you, you about to prove your point? Go ahead. That's what we do. So ahead. I'm not going to jump into your dialogue. I'm just asking you a question about your dialogue that you're bringing it up. I'm not giving no scripture yet. So and you had to take it. So go ahead, prove your point. My I got point, the Bible. My point, give me Isaiah if chapter 46 and, and 13. So okay. Chapter 46, verse 13. Hold on. Alright? The point is, salvation, I said salvation is for everybody. You said salvation is only for Israel. Now I say, okay. Then I'm not saying that. The Bible says that. Right. I, ne I never said that. Right. The Bible you says, says hold on, hold on. that. You said, okay. You can't say nothing. The Bible says you can't say nothing. Right. That's a lot. Give me Isaiah 46 and 13. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 13. Bring it I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be for all. Right. And my salvation shall, and my what? And my my salvation salvation shall not tarry. 
and I will place salvation in Zion. And I will what? And I will place salvation in Zion. What God say? And I will place salvation in Zion. Give me Jeremiah chapter 3 and 23 and give me Luke chapter 1 and 68. What do I? For Israel my glory. For what? For Israel my glory. No, of Israel. For Israel my glory. Who is salvation for according to the Bible? His name is Joshua and Yahweh, not Jesus and God. Listen to y'all right now. Hey, come, hey, bro, come back. Come back, brother. Come back, man. Come back, brother. Two minutes. I got you. I got you. No, come back. Hey, brother. Brother, y'all Israelites. Y'all got to repent and keep God's commandments. Y'all Israelite. Y'all stand, stand back soon. Y'all Israelite. Now talk to that brother right there in the blue. All right. Now, who is salvation for? According to the scripture we just read. Yes. I answer your question. Any, any songs of me? With the Bible, say hey, though. Every song so me. Read it again. I bring near my righteousness; it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. For I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. What? For Israel, my glory. What salvation for? For Israel, my glory. So why is you say it's for the sons of men? But we when we read Isaiah chapter forty-six and thirteen, it says salvation is for Israel. Confounded. Uh, you finished your point? Go ahead, brother. Go, go ahead. We finished my I'll finish my point. I'll finish. Yes. Alright, go to um Well we not finished yet. Jeremiah 323. Jeremiah 323. We not done yet. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 23. Jeremiah 3 and 23. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and 23. Truly in vain. Is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains? Right, because the hills and the mountains represents the kingdoms of the other nations. Read on. Truly, in the Lord, our God is salvation of Israel. Is what? Is salvation of Israel. Salvation is only for the Israelites. That's right. Now you can make your stance. Let me say this. You can give me the mic right now. Right. I did not say Israel do not obtain what they aim for. We have the whole thing. The adoption, the salvation, everything is of Israel. What I'm trying to tell you, in order for them to get salvation, they got to come through us. And we got to teach them how to get salvation. That is my point. And I agree we are, but it's not gonna. we're not teaching them right now, brother. That has to happen in the kingdom of heaven. That's right, brother. I now show me, do you, how do you believe we're going to be saved out of America? Do you believe we're going to be saved out of America? How do we be, are we going to get beamed up? Every Israelite is going to get gathered all over the world. Right. It's not only in America. So I'm trying to talk about America. Right. All over the world. Right. Slavery not only happen in America. Right, right. They in Africa. They in the Middle East. They in Asia. They all over the world. Right. So you cannot say only in America. Okay. So that statement, I just answered your question. Okay. God is all going to Every Israelite, wherever now, he is. Now I need you to. Hold on. Let me answer your question. All right. Every Israelite, wherever God has scattered you, and wherever planet you are, you're going to be gathered. And you're going to be brought, brought back to Israel. And that's where you're going to get your own land. That's my answer to you. Okay. Now, now, what? Now, what Bible verse says supports substantiates what you said when you said the heathen can receive salvation if they keep it. the commandments? Hold on, well, I thought you said was I wasn't together. finished. I wouldn't finish. All right. All right. If the heathen, what Bible verse says if the heathens keep the commandments, they can receive salvation? I need the Bible verse. All right, uh, Ezekiel uh, forty-seven. Ezekiel forty-seven. And what? Oh. You gotta pull it up. Twenty-two. Alright, you can read it. You gotta pull it up. You can read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Ezekiel forty-seven twenty-two. Look at Ezekiel chapter forty-seven and verse twenty-two. And it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you and to the strangers that shall join among you. Which shall beget children among you, uh -huh. and they shall be unto you as born in the country uh -huh. among the children of Israel. Among the children of Israel, go ahead. They shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. Okay. 
Okay. Now, now, oh, who is this stranger in this context? Is this stranger referring to as a heathen, or is it referred to as an Israelite who was not born in the homeland? Because you have certain Israelites they wasn't born in the homeland. So what stranger is this talking about? The first verse, what is the first verse? Ezekiel 47 and 1? Yeah, no, no. The 22. Right, we just read it. It said, said the stranger. Hold on, hold on. It said when we got it, that's what it said. Read, read that again. again. Yeah, read it again. Bro. Verse 22. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you which shall beget. Oh, sorry. It's uh, Unto you. And to the strangers that shall join among you, and to the what? And to the strangers that shall join among you. Now, are there multiple ways a man could be a stranger? So, you a question? So what? Is there multiple ways that a man could be a stranger? What do you mean? That's not the point. I'm asking you a question. And that's the and that's the point and that's the problem because those stranger that is talking about is not talking about heathen. It's talking about Israelites. Give me Leviticus 25 and 35 again. Hold on. That verse says, when we go back to our land, read the whole chapter. When you read the whole chapter, it'll tell you. When we get when God got at us from all the countries that He has scattered us, when we go back to the land, then the strangers is going through and with us. Read that chapter again. My brother, stop going into conclusion. He said what? First well, of all, when you read on, Ezekiel on, 47 on, chapter, on, that's on, not literal. Hold on, hold on, you know that, right? Finish, you know about the waters that's coming no, up no, to no, the no, knees. No, and finish, go ahead. When we go back to the land, we're not only strangers. Anybody, any Israelite, you're not a stranger when you go back to the land. Sure. When we go back to the land, we're a stranger. Read this. Ezekiel, the 44th chapter, the ninth verse, going into the kingdom of heaven. Thus saith the Lord God. No stranger uncircumcised in heart nor uncircumcised in flesh shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. That is what? That among is the children, children of Israel. Israel. That's only a he. Among, among the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Wait, what are you talking about? He don't, oh, he's confirmed. He don't know what's going on. What is your point? He don't know what's going on. Hold on, hold on. Leviticus 25 and 35. Leviticus 25 and 35. You said what? Yes, it literally says that the stranger. Hold on, hold on. I know what it says. I, I want to know what's your questions on you want to ask me that scripture. Read that again. You're not. You're not getting it. I, I say, it might be too deep for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I understand. Yeah, it it it, 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 it register right. Read that again. Ezekiel 44 verse 9. Going to going into those serving in the temple in the kingdom of heaven. Thus saith the Lord God: No stranger uncircumcised in heart nor uncircumcised in flesh shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. That is among the children of Israel. You have strangers among the children of Israel, meaning Israelites are referred Yes, they're Israelite strangers because they're not from the, they're not the home born in the land. Or they have waxen poor. But you can't understand it. Leviticus 25 and 35. Leviticus 25 and 35. And if thy brother be waxing poor. And if what? And if thy brother be waxing poor. Let's say if you have an Israelite brother, he's waxing poor. Right? He don't have as much financial needs as you. Read one. And fall and decay with thee. And what? And fall and decay with thee. Let's say if this brother is waxing poor and falleth and decay. Read one. Then thou shall relieve him. Yeah, though he be a stranger. It says what? Though he be a stranger. What the Lord say? Though he be a stranger. Why in Leviticus chapter 25 and 35, an Israelite is being referred to as a stranger? Cut. It, read that again. And if thy brother you go that be if thy what? If thy brother. What God say? If thy brother. Who is the brother that is talking about? Read one. Be waxing poor and fall in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Yeah, though he be a stranger. One more time. Though he be a stranger. For a thousand times. Though he be a stranger. Though your own brother be a stranger by waxing poor. It's simple, brother. We not out here. Give, give me Obadiah chapter verse. Let me go die verse 12. This is how the precepts just come out. Obadiah verse 12. You got a precept? Obadiah verse 12. Obadiah verse 12. Yeah. But thou should not have looked upon 
Look on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Read verse 11. Verse 11. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captives, his forces and foreigners right. enter into the gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. And then what? And cast lots upon Jerusalem. Now, in that's this context, uh, can, can I spit? Yeah, that's talking Egypt. about Edom, right? So what? Hold on, that, hold, that's talking about Edom, right? That's the point. I, I'm not finished. That's the whole point I'm making. If that's talking about Edom, they carried away Jerusalem. Read one. All right, here's the point. Go ahead, bro. Even thou was as one of them. All right. But thou should have not have looked upon looked on the day of thy brother. What God said? Thou shalt not have looked on the day of thy brother. Read it again. Thou shalt have not looked on the day of thy brother. The Lord is telling Edom, you should not have looked on the day of thy brother Jacob. Read one. In the day that he became a stranger. In the what? In the day that he became a stranger. What happened to Jacob? In the day that he became a stranger. What happened to the Israelite? In the day that he became a stranger. And that's the whole point, man. But you, but my whole point is Jacob it became a stranger. Give me Job chapter 6 and 20. You going, you going to let me talk now? Yes, after this. Job chapter 6 and 20. The book of Job chapter 6. And verse number 20, no. they were confounded. They were what? They, they were confounded. What was this man? They, they were confounded. confounded. Read it again. They, they were confounded. confounded. What is his face? They, they were confounded. confounded. Because they had hope. They, because what? Because, because they, they had hope. hope. Because you hope. Read what? They came thither. They what? They, they came thither. He came up. First he came up this way, then he peeled off, then he came back up. Read. And were ashamed. It was what? And were ashamed. Are you ashamed? He's ashamed. Now, what do you have to say? Verse 25. No. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified. God said. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified. Are some of them. The Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified. At the end of the day, all the seed of Israel is going to be justified. Now, for all the seed of Israel to be justified, something has to happen. Give me Isaiah chapter 22 and 14. Isaiah chapter 22 verse 14. No, no. And it was revealed in my ears by the Lord of hosts. Surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you. It's like from you till ye die. Till ye what? Till ye die. What has to happen to the two thirds? Till ye die. So for all their iniquities to be fully purged and for them to go back into the kingdom, they have to die first. That's why in Zechariah the 13th chapter, 8 on down, two-thirds thereof have to die, but the one-third shall be left therein. So in order for the two-thirds to come back into the kingdom, the Lord has to purge their iniquity through death. Now, do you understand that? <laughs> give, me, give me Daniel chapter 12 and 10. And we know why you don't understand. Wait, wait. Because you're not Where's keeping your the commandments. Right. Where's your fringes at? <laughs> Where's your fringes at? told you, I'm, I'm not going to wear French. Why not? It's a commandment because, by God. Because in the Hebrew 10 chapter, we told you, read the Hebrew 10 chapter. Read this. That's so why you're understanding all jammed up. It's the book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white right. and dry. You're, you're but the fine. wicked shall do wickedly. But the what? But, but the, the wicked shall do wickedly. What the Lord say? But the wicked shall do wickedly. Read. And none of the wicked shall understand. And what? And none, and none of the wicked, wicked shall understand. understand. What God say? And none, none of the wicked, wicked shall understand. Read it again. And none, none of the wicked, wicked shall understand. understand. Why can't you understand the Bible? And none, none of the wicked, wicked shall understand. Because you're not keeping the commandments of God. Right. You don't have one of the fringes. Right. You probably still eat pork. Right. You, you probably, you're not, probably not keeping the Sabbath day. Huh. I mean, brother, your, your understanding is all jammed up. Because you're not keeping the commandments of God, brother. Right. Because you don't have one of your fringes. But you claim, do you want to follow him? Do you want to follow Christ? You're a real Christian? So you follow what Christ do. I'm saying a real Christian is somebody who follows Christ. Do you follow Christ holy? I'm a real Christian. Do you follow Christ? Do you or do you follow Christ? You say you do follow Christ? What is Christian? A follower of Christ. That means you follow Christ, right? Give me Matthew 14 oh, okay. and 36 again. Okay, that answers your question, brother. Give me Matthew chapter 14 and 36 again. But Matthew chapter 14 and verse 36. Yeah. Let, let's see if Christ wore fringes. And, and can somebody pull up in the Hebrew the word for him? And besought him that they might only 
Touch the hem of his garment. That they may what? Touch the hem of his garment. What the Lord say? Touch the hem of his garment. What did Christ have on? Touch the hem of his garment. No, he didn't have on fringe. Touch the hem of his garment. You want to keep in the command? Touch the hem of his garment. What does the word hem mean in the Greek? You said what? Let's see. No, it's not what it means. It's not what it means. It's not what it means. You got it? Him. This is the word him. Strong's G2899. It says the fringe of a garment. What? The fringe of a garment. What did Christ have one? The fringe of a garment. So why where's your if Christ wore fringes, where is your fringes at? You know why I'm not answering that question? Read on. In the New Testament, little appendages hanging down from the edge of the mantle or cloak made of twisted wool. A tassel, tough. The Jews had such appendages attached to their mantles to remind them of the law. See that? And that goes back to Numbers, the 15th chapter, 30 on or down. Christ himself wore fringes. So you're not a real Christian. You don't follow Christ. Because Christ wore his fringes and you don't have anyone right now. Absolutely. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and 1. We're going to show you. We're going to show you out the Bible. You want to hear my words, don't you? Bring it out. No. Say, I don't want to hear what you got. Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be followers of me. What Paul say? Be followers of me. Read on. Even as I also am of a Mashiach. What are we? Even as I am also of a Mashiach. We are followers of Christ, absolutely. That answers your question. What other questions do you have? All right, brother. Then, then you have to repent and keep God's commandments, brother. Or you're going to die in the land of your captivity. Brother, you going to be jumping from one end to the other, brother? What was you talking about? We talking about nations. Now you're talking about... We just, else, brother. brother, you just, you, you can't answer the question. We brought out Revelation 21 and 12. He said, that, we were talking about he, he said the gates is for everybody that keep the commandments. That's what we were talking about. Now you go on these. But it don't say that, though, in the Bible. We went to Isaiah 46. He can't answer that. I didn't say Isaiah 46. We went to John, we went to John chapter 4 and 22. He can't answer that. He can't prove what, he cannot have a Bible verse to prove that all the heathen can make it and get saved. Give me Isaiah brother. chapter 8 and 20. Oh, here, man. You want to tell me because I can't tell with this. Isaiah brother, chapter 8 and 20. I can't tell with this, brother, man. He can't die. You don't have no Bible verses. That we can't tell. I am Bible verses. Answer the testimony. What God said? The Lord said? Answer the testimony. Answer the testimony. Answer the testimony. Read on. That they speak not according to this. Oh, you said you don't know what? That they speak not according to this. Oh, you said you don't know what? That they speak not according to this. Oh, you said you don't know what? Since we've been up here, how many Bible verses have you poured? Where is it at? I say, if you allow me, pull them up. I'll bring up Bible verses about the nation. Pull them up. All right, give me X10 verse. X10 verse 24. You want? You sure you want to go to Acts the tenth chapter? Yeah, Acts 10 verse 25. 27. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 10, 25. So wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you read that, you're going to allow me to pull all scriptures without interrupting. Yes or no? But you have to read them your yes. Yes, but you have to read it yourself. That's what I'm saying. You, you have to read it yourself. I got to just say, you're not going to interrupt. No, I'm not. You have to, but you have to read it yourself, though, brother. All right. Let me finish my point. If I pull it, Right? You don't have to add your own stuff. Let me pull my own. You say, let me pull, pull out scriptures. Right, right, right. Pull out scriptures. We read it. You cannot interrupt. Go ahead, and brother. We're going to read it. We're right. Read Go it. ahead, brother. Give me Acts chapter 10 and give me verse 10. Give me Acts chapter 10 and give me verse 28. Acts 10, verse 25. And Peter, and as Peter was coming in, came so, uh, uh, Cornelius met him and fall down on his feet and worship him. Verse what? Verse twenty six. It's what? It's what? But Peter took them up and said, "Stand up." I said, "I myself." I said, "What?" I myself also am a man. 
So he said what? And as he talked with him, he, he said he went in and found many that were coming together. This is talking about Paul meeting Cornelius. All right, now we're going to skip that to 30, 34. The 34, what did it say? It said, and Peter opened his mouth and said, I see what they said. Of the, of the truth, I perceive that God is a yeah, yeah, the right. All right? It's about if any, it's a every nation. He ain't talking about one nation. He ain't talking about Israel. It's a every nation that fear God and what is what? And what righteousness. It's a what? Right righteousness. It's acceptable to him. Now read verse 26. That's verse 36. So the word which God sent unto the children of Israel. So he sent to Israel to give it to the world. That's what I was talking about. This is what exactly my point was. So now keep reading. This is what? Oh, uh, verse 20, uh, verse 37. See so the word I said, yeah, yeah, no, which words yeah. published throughout yeah. in Judea and, morning, and from, so from, from and beginning oh, from Galilee after bat baptized with John preached. Verse 20, uh, verse 38. He said now so Cornelius was now Israelite. Well you said what? Cornelius was not an Israelite. Yes, he was. Cornelius was an Israelite. On. He said he was an Israelite, right? Yes, let's go. Right, to, we on, gotta go on, to it. Hold on, let me finish. No, cannot, can no, I prove no, no, no. that Cornelius I, is I an Israelite? My point. Go ahead. You said Cornelius is Israelite. I just asked you a question. You said he was an Israelite. Now let me prove it. Hold on, let me prove it. Wait, so real fast, are you saying Cornelius wasn't an Israelite? Yes. He was not? He was not an Israelite. Give me Acts chapter 10 and give me verse 1. Give me Acts. Psalms chapter 112 and give me what's one and give me Proverbs chapter oh, 25 and give me verse 9. Acts chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it up. There was any time like this. Bro, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Bro, you just agreed to me. Pulling my go, ahead, go ahead. I apologize. One time. You said, all right. This is it. It said what? You said, you said, Cornelius was uh, Israelite. This is what Paul said. It said, but in every nation. So what? And Paul, then Paul opened his mouth and said, of a true, I perceive that God is the respect of no man, but in any nation that fear him. And then if you go back to what, uh, uh, if you go back to 20, 20, 25, he tells you, verse 25, he says what? Verse 25, Paul said, I said, and Peter, as he's coming in, so Cornelius met him and fall on his feet and say, and Paul took him and said, stand up, he said, and talk with him, and he said, what, and he found many of them. And he said unto them, ye knew, verse 28, you knew, how it is unlawful. This is unlawful. That means if I'm an Israelite, I'm not even supposed to go to the Gentile. So if he was a if he was an Israelite, why would Paul, why would uh, why would uh, it's like why would Peter say you do know that I'm not supposed to come here because you are another nation? Why would he make that statement if he was an Israelite? You said he was an Israelite. You asking me? I'm asking you that question. Can if we, he said, can we hold answer on. with the Bible? Hold on, hold on. This is my question again. If he said. It is unlawful for any a, a Jew to come into another nation that is not of Israel. Does that mean if, if he's not of Israel, that means he's not an Israelite? Yeah, you're asking me. Yeah, I'm asking you. And write up that 28, 28 verse, read 28 words, and back up. Give me a piece on that. Let's go to it. Let's go to Acts chapter 10 and 28. And then and, and, and they don't cap, say that either. Cap. It's all right? cap. It it's says that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey. Uh huh. And he said unto them, uh -huh. "Ye know that uh -huh. it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Therefore came I unto you without gain saying, as soon as I was sent, that's like as soon as I was sent for, I asked them for what intent ye have sent for me." Now, the reason why Peter said that to Cornelius, give me John chapter 4 and give me verse 6. Because at one point in time, during the southern and northern kingdom split, the Jews, they were not, not, not allowed to deal with the Israelites that went into idolatry. But you don't understand it, and we got to go to it. So at one point in time, can I finish? You just let me, let me finish. I just let you finish. You said you're going to give me a scripture. I'm going to get you a scripture. Don't give me your interpretation. I don't need your interpretation. Okay, I'm getting. Can I go to the precepts? Yeah, yeah, Let's go to John the fourth chapter and six. And that's why he said that to Cornelius. Read one. No. Book of John that's chapter that's four, verse six. No. Now Jacob's well was was there. Yeah, I was shy. Therefore, hold on, hold on, hold on. being weary with his journey. John four and six. Read on. Being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. 
There cometh a woman of Samaria. There what? There cometh a woman of Samaria. You know what the what the capital uh what Samaria is? Do you know where that's located geographically? We don't know. No, that's we do know. That's nah, that's the capital of the Northern nah, Kingdom. We don't know because it's the strangers on our land. We don't know. All right, you know what? To draw water, Yahweh Shai said unto him, it's like unto her, give me the drink, for the disciples were gone away unto the city to buy me. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, so this is a northern kingdom woman, read one. How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me? That, that what? That thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me. What did she say? That thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me. Read it again. That thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me. She's telling Christ, how is it that thou, being a Jew, which represents Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, read one. Which am a woman of Samaria. Which is what? Which is a woman of Samaria. She's a woman in the land of Samaria, which was the capital of the northern kingdom, read on. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. For the what? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Why did Peter say that in Acts 10? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Give me 1 Kings chapter 2 and give me verse 16. We, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Can I finish? I'm not finished my answering my question. I'm not finished. I'm not finished though. Can I finish the Bible verses? You're gonna finish it. Hold on. Give me first. Give me first Kings 12 and 16. First Kings chapter 12 and 16. But gotta ask you a question. Hold on. This say the Samaritan was the one that talking to you, right? Right. And then he said you had no dealing with them, right? Right. Go ahead. Give me your point. First Kings chapter 12 verse 16. So when all Israel saw that the king hearkened not unto them, what? So when all Israel saw that the king hearkened not unto them, when the Israelites saw that the king didn't hearken unto them, read one. The people answered the king, saying, "What portion have we in David?" What they say? What portion have we in David? Read it again. What portion have we in David? So this is the northern kingdom saying, "What portion have we in David?" So this enmity goes all the way back to the book of First Kings. Read one. Neither have we inheritance. And the son of Jesse, to your intent, O Israel. Now, see, see what? And sorry, to the intent of Israel, and now see to the to their own tents. And Israel departed from their own tents. What push are we in David? Neither have we in inheritance and the son of Jesse to our tents, O Israel, now to see thine own house, David. So Israel departed unto their tents. So what? So Israel departed unto their tents. What did the Northern Kingdom do? So Israel departed unto their tents. So the Israelites, the Northern Kingdom departed unto their own tents. It goes all the way back to the book of 1 Kings. The, the Northern Kingdom was not allowed, or rather, they had enmity and strife between the Southern Kingdom, which represents the Jews. So that's why Peter said wait, wait, wait. it is uncommon. Wait, let me finish. Let's go back to Acts chapter 10 to 28. That's why Peter said to Cornelius, we have no dealings with you. Because the Jews, they wasn't pressed to deal, deal with the Israelite Gentiles who went away from the commandments of God. During the Hellenization period. I'm not finished. Read on. This is the book of Acts chapter 20, 10 and verse 28. And he said unto them, ye know how that it is unlawful thing for a man that is not a, that is a Jew to keep company. Or come, or come unto one of another nation. And, then, and that don't mean that he was another nation. That's saying that he was an no, of, an one of the other nations. No, Not that saying that he was a heathen. No, because you had the Israelites scattered into all nations. No, Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 65. Start at verse 64. I'm not finished yet, brother. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Chapter 28 hold on, hold on. and verse 64. No. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh -huh. What God say? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. It's going to tap into the Israelite. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. Read on. You know, let me bring more scriptures. I'm not finished. Let me bring more scriptures. You read on. From the one end of the earth. From the what? From the one end of the earth. Huh? Even unto the other. I get it. All right. And there's and there thou shalt serve. I'll talk for one minute. I gotta bring more scriptures. And one end to the earth, and even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve unto other gods, which neither thou shalt thou that. 
or them nor thy fathers have known. So the Israelites will be scattered into all nations as a curse, and they will serve other gods, even wood and stone. Now, just to further prove that Cornelius was not an other nation, but that the Israelites, you had Israelites dwelling in other nations, this is out of the Blue Letter Bible for the word nation. In the book of Acts 10 and 28, it says a tribe. In the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarchs of Jacob. So that's not talking about the other nations. Give me Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. Cut it. Cut it, cut it. Give me Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. We're not finished, brother. We're going to let you speak. I'm not finished proving to you. Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. And there were what? And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. What guy say? And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. Read on. Devote men out of every nation. It says what? Devote men out of every nation. Where did the Jews come from? Devout men out of every nation. And you would know if you had any understanding of the Bible that the Jews were scattered into all the other nations, brother. So Cornelius, you can't just say just because it says of another nation that Cornelius is another nation. Now we finna prove to you that Cornelius is, is indeed an Israelite. Give me Acts chapter 10 and verse 1. I'm not finished. I'm gonna give you the floor. And verse 1. There were certain men it's in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. Now, do you know what a centurion is? You said what? He was of the, do, we, do we say Cornelius was an Italian or he was in the Italian band? Which one? You want to prove to me that he is an Israelite. Prove to me that he's an Israelite. There was a certain man. It's Sister Rhea. Uh -huh. It's Sister Rhea. Where? It's Sister Rhea. Do you know where Sister Rhea is located geographically? No. Read one. I don't know. You don't know either. Called Cornelius. On who? Called Cornelius. A centurion. Uh -huh. You know what a centurion? Centurion is like a captain. Okay, read one. Uh -huh. Of the band. Of the Italian. Right. Called the Italian band. Okay. What? So that means of the band. Called the Italian man. Now, did you have Judas? Oh, can I finish, brother? Don't ask me questions. The, did you have the Judas in the nations, other nations' army during the time of the Roman Empire? Yes or no? Give me Second Maccabees chapter ten. And give me verse thirty-eight. You gonna answer your question by yourself? We are gonna answer. All right, answer your question. Answer your question. Look at Second Maccabees chapter ten and verse thirty-eight. When this was done. They praised the Lord with, with songs and thanksgiving, who had done so great things for Israel. Right, verse 28. Verse 28. Now the sun being newly risen, they joined both together to one part, having together with their virtue, their, re their refuge also unto the Lord for a plague, for the success and the victory, the other side in making their rage leader of the battle. Right. But when the battle was waxed strong, there appeared unto the enemies from heaven five coming men upon horses. Right, this is talking about battle, we want. With, with brothers of gold, and two of them let the Jews. Right, go, so like you go to 1 Maccabees 10 and 36. Right, 1 Maccabees chapter 10 and 36. We're going to show you that you had Jews in the other nations' bands and in their armies. So just because a town, can I finish? That's irrelevant. Can I finish? You, you, hold on. You, can I finish? No, because you didn't let me. No, we no we are going. Man, go, just going yeah, to just because because just because it's on, Cornelius on, in an Italian band, that, that does not on. make Cornelius an hold Italian. On. Hold That's on. just this a lack of scholarship. I don't have the scriptures. First, Matthew be chapter ten verse thirty six. I will find that there be involved among the king's forces. That there what? That there be involved among the king's forces. What the Lord said. That there be involved among the king's forces. Read it again. That there be involved among the king's forces. What the Lord said. That there be involved among the king's forces. That there be in war amongst the king's forces, meaning in his army. Read on. About thirty thousand. Men of the Jews! About what? About, about 30,000 30, men of the Jews! Who was in the Italian band? About 30,000 men of the Jews! Who was in the other nation's army? About 30,000 men of the Jews! So just because Cornelius was a centurion 
of the Italian band, that doesn't make him an Italian because you had Jews fighting in the armies of the other nations. Just like in America, it's not just the so-called white man fighting in the uh, U.S. military. You have different races in the military of the U.S. So you can't, okay, come on, it is what it is. So you can't even, you know, you can't have no answer to uh, say that. Now let's go back to Acts 10 and 1. You gonna let me talk? You gonna let me talk? I'm not finished. When are you gonna finish? I'll give you, two, I'll give you 40 minutes now. In verse one, talk for five minutes and you gonna be there were a certain man in Caesarea oh, called Cornelius, a citron of the band called the Italian band, right? Huh? A devout man, a, a what? A what devout man. What guy say? Uh, a uh, devout man. What does it mean to be a devout man? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, man. The man that served God, make him a stranger. He was serving God. Hold, he was, wait, hold on, hold on. What does it mean to be a devout man? You ask me a question. Let me right. Ask me a question. You gonna give me five minutes to answer the question or not? What is right? Go ahead. What does it mean to be a devout man? You're not gonna interrupt. Go ahead. A devout man. Give me excellent. Hold on. Now this is this is you know I I'll make sure that your question your the answers if the answers that you give me don't make no sense. You you quote from scripture, that don't mean you understand the scripture. You put the scripture here and there and try to mix it up. That don't mean you understand the scripture. This is what it's saying. If if the, if he's doing good to the Jews and giving arms to the Jews, he's not a Jew. So Peter cannot go to him because he was actually serving God. Cornelius was serving God and he was doing harm to the Jews. I can read it to you. You cannot read it to me that he didn't do no good to the Jews. So is that the proof? He was, hold on. He was doing good to Israel. He was doing all type of good for Israel. Why would Paul, why would Peter say, he said, I behold, he said, do you know we're not supposed to come to you because you're from another, another nation. If he was an Israelite, he doing everything that God told him to do. What would he make him a stranger? What would I make him another nation? Because Cornelius' his forefathers were part of the laws of God. That's what made him a shrimp or a Gentile. But you can't understand that. Now, and you have to answer the question. Can you read one scripture for me? Yes. Then I'm gonna let you go to the other side. Well, we're we gonna finish this first. No, just one scripture. After that, you, uh, no, you, you can pull it out and then read that. R uh, read this. Hey, right, look, oh, this. Can you answer the question, what does after it mean this, to be devout? After, after this, after this, you can go read to that scripture. Right, Acts chapter 22, verse 17. Oh. And it came to pass that when I was come against to Jerusalem, even while I sat in the temple, I was in a trance. Right. And so I'm saying unto me, make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem. Right. For they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. And they said, Lord, they know that I am present and be in every synagogue. The verse 12. Verse 12. And in Ananias, a devout man. A what? A devout man. What God say? A devout man. So just like Cornelius was a devout man, when you read Acts two chapter, it says Ananias was a devout man. But let's see what makes you devout. You know what? According to the law. A what? According to the law. What God say? According to the law. So according to the Bible, what makes you devout is according to the law. Who is given the law, statutes, and commandments to be devout? Give me Leviticus chapter 27. You said you're going you're gonna to give me. You, wait. Give me Leviticus chapter 27. You're going to read the scripture that I told you you're going to read? Leviticus chapter 27. Oh, you're going to give me the scripture that I told you to read? Verse 34. These are the commandments oh, which the Lord commanded Moses for the children of Israel. And for the what? For the children of Israel. Oh, for everybody. For, for the children of Israel. Israel. Okay. For the children of Israel. 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 For the Edomite. For the children of Israel. For the Gentile. For the children of Israel. Who is given the laws that the commandments on Mount Sinai? So it says. Hold on. Hold on. Can I finish, brother? No, you're not finishing. Can I finish? It's not making sense. Can I finish? You just said after you read that, and, we, and this is why we can't break it down because hold on. Gonna get you said it, when you read that scripture, you give you a verse. All right, go ahead. How about you give me this scripture? Give me Matthew chapter twenty-two and twenty-nine. You, you gonna read one scripture? And, and we just gotta cut you off because you don't know what's nah, going on. But the soul you don't have a dialogue. I can't have a dialogue. And verse twenty-four. Mine says also. Give me Matthew twenty-two and twenty-nine. Brother, where you going? Hey, you let me give you a scripture. Hey, here's this verse right here. You gonna let me give you a scripture? Chapter 22 and 29. You gonna let me give you a scripture? I'm giving you the verse of the day. No, no, no. You gonna answer and say unto them, you gonna let me give you a scripture? Not knowing the scripture. What God said? Not knowing the scripture. Read that from the top. You be there. Not knowing the scripture. What the Lord said? Not knowing the scripture. 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 Not knowing the scripture.
y'all say? Give you air, not knowing the script. What y'all was trying to say? Give you air, not knowing the script. What is this, man? Give you air, not knowing the script. How do you know the Bible? Give you air, not knowing the script. Look at it again. Give you air, not knowing the script. Look at it again. Give you air, not knowing the script. What's the word say? Give you air. And that's why this dialogue is not going to go anywhere because you do err not knowing it's the power of God. Now read this. Psalm 71 and 24. It's the book of Psalms of the 71 and verse 24. Yeah. And thy also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long. For they are confounded. For they are what? For they are confounded. What is this man? For they are confounded. Read it again. For they are confounded. What the Lord say? For they are confounded. For they are confounded. Are confounded. Are confounded. Now let's go back to Acts. Further proven that Cornelius was an Israelite. I know you got to Acts chapter 10 and verse 2. Let me give you chapter 10 and verse 2. No. A devout man. And one that feared God. And what? And one that feared God. What did Cornelius do? And one that feared God. Read it again. And one that feared God. It said Cornelius feared God. What does it mean to fear God? What does it mean to fear God? Can the other nation fear God? Let's see. Give me Psalm chapter 112 and give me verse 1. Give me Psalm chapter 112 and verse 1. Praise ye Yahweh. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. It says what? Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. What did Cornelius do? Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. Now let's see what it means to fear the Lord. Read. That delighted greatly in his commandment. That do what? That delighted greatly in his commandment. Read it again. That delighted greatly in his commandment. What does it mean to fear the Lord? That delighted greatly in his commandment. The only way you can fear the Lord is if you're keeping a commandment. That's right. Can the other nations keep the commandments? No. Not us. Give me, give me second Andrew chapter three and thirty six. Why, why can't they keep the commandment? Let's see. I got Let's, no, we got to show you out the Bible why they can't. Why cannot they can't? Second Andrew. Because God said they can't. Read this. Second Andrew chapter, chapter, chapter 3, verse 36. Read it out. But thou shalt find that Israel by name has kept thy precepts. That what? That Israel by name has kept thy precepts. Read it again. That Israel by name has kept thy precepts. That what? That Israel by name has kept thy precepts. Do you agree that Israel by name have kept the precepts and uh, keep the commandments? Yeah, that's what you read on. But not, but, 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 but not the heathen. 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 Again, but not the heathen. The heathen cannot keep the commandments. And that's showing you that Cornelius was not a heathen. He was an Israelite because he feared God. And to fear God is to keep the commandments. Come. Israel was the one that was keeping the commitment from day one. Leviticus chapter 22, and I'm going to start at verse 25. Neither from a stranger's hand shall you offer the bread of your God of any of these, because their corruption is in them, and their blemishes be in them. They shall not be accepted from you. They shall what? They shall not be accepted from you. The heathens cannot be accepted. Nah, they cannot keep the animal. They cannot not sacrifice. Uh, I believe it. They cannot. Uh, they cannot be preached. Look at Acts chapter ten, verse twenty-two. Read it again. They cannot be preached. Read it again. And they said, Cornelius is a centurion, a just man, and one that feared God, and of good report among all the nation of the Jews was warned from Yahweh by an holy angel to send for thee into his house to hear the words of thee. So he does have a good report amongst all the Jews now? I see you want me to answer you? I see you want me to answer you? A devout man and one that feared God right. with all his house, which gave much all to the people if you and pray to God minutes, always. And, 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 and pray to God always. Read it again. And pray to God always. Okay, yeah. Can other nations pray to the Most High? If, if they don't yes understand. Yes or no? Yes. If, if they don't understand. If they don't understand. Bible says other nations can pray to the Most High. If you let me talk for five minutes, you are really? talking the whole time. You know what I mean? So in a vision, you are going to answer the question. Yes. Answer. What about you? Give me five minutes. You're going to give me five minutes? Answer what that Bible verse 
I can answer you if you're going to interrupt. If you want to interrupt, I'm not going to answer you. Go ahead. Five minutes. Go ahead. You going to be patient for five minutes? Go ahead on the ring out the Bible. All right, so give me to six o'clock. Okay, read, read, read. 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 41. Read it out. Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them to hate me. They looked, but there was none to say, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. But he did what? But he answered them not. But he answered them not. The Lord is not hearing the other nations. Wait, 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 wait. Give me Revelation chapter 8. Samuel 22 and 42. Come on, come on. Okay, give me Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Revelation 8 and 4. Revelation chapter 8 and 4. No, book of Revelation, chapter 8 and verse 4. Read out. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints. Which what? Which you came with the prayers of the saints. You know the other nations. Which came with the prayers of the saints. Which did what? Which came with the prayers of the saints. What the Lord say? Which came with the prayers of the saints. Read. Ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And then what? Ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. So it said the prayer of the saints ascended up to God out of the hand. Who are the saints according to the Bible? Who are the saints according to the Bible? You didn't give me five minutes. You don't know. Give me some. How do I don't know? You answered your question. I didn't tell you I don't know. You don't know. How do you know I don't know? Who are the saints according to the Bible? How do you know I don't know? You don't know. Because you didn't get the answer. They can say, they say, what? Now, you want me to answer you? You give me five minutes, I'm going to answer your question. What is it? You want to give me five minutes, I'm going to answer your question. But the source of the one for the game of the team, he also exalted the heart of all his people. The praise of all the saints. The what? The praise of all the saints. Read it again. The praise of all the saints. Let's see what the saints are according to the Bible. Because this man does not have the answers. Read on. Even of the children of Israel. Even what? Even, Even of the children of Israel. Israel. The other nations. Even, Even of the children of Israel. What the Lord say? Even of the children of Israel. Not a Moabite. Even of the children of Israel. The Italians. Even of the children of Israel. So the only prayers that's being heard are the prayers of the saints, and the saints are the children of Israel. Right. Therefore, Cornelius was an Israelite indeed. Good. Well, let me ask you. Job 32 and 15. Job 32 and 15. Job chapter 32. Verse 15. They were amazed. They were what? They were amazed. What's this man? They were amazed. What is his face? They were amazed. Are you amazed? Are you amazed? Are you amazed? Yeah, y'all Read it again. They were amazed. They were what? They were amazed. They were what? They were amazed. What is this man? They were amazed. Read. Y'all no more. They did what? They answered no more. Read it again. They answered no more. What is he man doing? They answered no more. Read. They left to speak. They what? They left to speak. Read. They answered no more. 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 Read. They can you read uh, Hebrews, the third chapter, folks? Hebrews, Hebrews 3 and what? At uh, 20, 20, uh... You don't even know. I don't know. Alright, pull it up. <laughs> I got it. Y'all wasn't ready. I was ready. Y'all was talking around. Y'all ain't even answering the question. Pull it up. So give me uh, Hebrews 3 or no, 29. No, you can read it yourself. You can read it yourself. Oh, yeah. I'll read it myself. And then you're not going to add anything to it. You're a grown man. You can read the Bible verse for yourself. Right, but you cannot keep cutting it. Let me prove my own point. You said let me bring, bring our scriptures. I'm going to bring our scriptures. That don't mean you're cutting from scriptures to scriptures. You don't understand the scriptures. You don't understand what you read. Rumors. Hey. Rumors 3 and 28. No. Rumors 3 and 28. Oh, All right. 3 and 28. Right. And so 28, this is it. And so therefore we conclude, uh, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the needs of the law. It's a, it's a what? Is it's a, it's a, it's a, he God, it's a God of the Jews only? He is not only of the Gentiles also? Yeah, he said, yeah, yes, of the Gentiles also. See, it is one God which justifies the circumcised by faith and uncircumcised through faith. 
So this is not talking about only Israel. Who are the Gentiles according to the Bible? Don't answer. Let me let me let me finish. Let me, who are the, who let me are the Gentiles according I'm to the Bible? I'm gonna answer your question. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Now let's go to Second Peter, three verse three. No. Second Peter, three verse three. No. Somebody keep going. Oh. oh. You let me speak now. Second Peter three and three. Whoa. Let her read. Second Peter three and three. That says, but in the last days, they say, no, this place they dare come go. Said they should come in the last day. Scoff, walk us after their own lust. Now let's go down. Let me go down to sixteen and seventeen. They said what? Also, they said what? As also in all the ex, as they're speaking in themselves of those things, they said in which some of our things hard to be understood, which they that are on the land and on the stable. Wrestle as they do all the all the scriptures, also unto they said unto their own destruction. Therefore, brothers, seek ye know this, know these things before ahead, lest lest ye also be led away with the arrows of their wickedness. You are wicked, brothers. Feet. What were the Gentiles according to the Bible? Brothers want to say that and leave. It's tough. The wicked man. The wicked man. The wicked man. Debate your cause. This is what we have to deal with in the streets of Chicago. 